phone in the poll about the credit crunch. Who's to blame for the credit crunch? Right? The results were 48% said the government were to blame. 40% said the bankers were to blame. But for me, the most astounding statistic was 12%. Right? Get this, Leeds. 12% don't know. <laughs> Who on earth rang up? <laughs> rang up the Daily Mirror and just went, Aye! I'm ringing about your survey. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> of your mobile phone while you're driving, right? In my opinion, that's made the roads far more dangerous. Because in the old days, we all just used to drive, use our mobile phone, it was dangerous. Now you've got to drive, use your mobile phone, and look out for coppers at the same time. <laughs> Bookshop. It was um, it was a feminist bookshop, which is it's exactly the same as a normal bookshop. It's just this no humour section. <laughs> yeah, and for those women who are laughing, you just proved my fucking point. <laughs> I'm buying a few things for for a recipe. It came to one pound three, and the girl she was putting it through, and she went one pound three. And I gave her a twenty-pound note on her hand. Pound. She looked at it like I was trying to pay her with a piece of shit <laughs> on a document. <laughs> a very specific one. She looked at it. She went, "Have you got anything left?" <laughs> so I just said, "Well, I've got nothing." <laughs> I'll have to give you 18 months oh, of change and you the ball to change. Right, I was long and terribly taken aback by the speed of her maths. Oh, no, I know it's not calculus, but for a child to check out, he's fast in it. So I thought, I'll be nice. And I said, I can pay my card if you want. This didn't do me any good. She just went, don't do me any favours. At that point, I thought, sod you. I put my card in the machine. She said, do you want cash back? I said, yeah. I'll have 1897. I love The Apprentice. But what I'd love to do is go on to The Apprentice. And when Sir Alan says, you're fired, I'd love to stand there and say, you do know this is a job interview, don't you, dickhead? <laughs> Yeah, you're fired. No, 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 it's an interview. You can't fire someone at an interview, because I don't work for you. <laughs> and even if it didn't work for you, you couldn't just say, you're fired. You'd have to follow your company's human resources. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up after three. One, two, three. Me alone. I got myself together. Hit the beaten track. Running.